Huh? Are you in a confessional booth right now? Hmm. <laughs> Memories of child. <laughs> Thank you, Lovey Cop. Oh no. God damn it. <laughs> uh. What is happening right now? <laughs> A man can hope. What the heck? Well, you heard the man, Devolver. <laughs> Soon is calling you out. Make Electro Triple Star 3. Even though the first two don't even exist. Okay, and we're finally in our hub world after we read a million notifications. And take it down. Can't forget that. In the digital world and the real world, Travis is always doing it. Okay, and this is our hub world. This area is pretty comfy, I'm not gonna lie. Um, as you can see, Batman's just <laughs> drinking his beer. Uh, right here. They also have Gene resting by the fire, too. One other thing I want to point out, by the way. Listen to this. Yeah, that sound familiar? The chillest No More Heroes 3 remix of all time. I love this song so much. Hands down my favorite hub world theme from this series. Even more than Do Not Destroy from the original. Very, very, very good. Anyway, so uh, this hub world is uh, pretty tiny. Um, honestly, as far as options are concerned, it's probably just as much as your ho your motel in the original. Except you can actually run around, which is really cool. Uh, first things first, let's go to the uh, bathroom because you can actually change t-shirts. And this is, uh, unfortunately, there is no customization as far as uh, Travis's glasses or or gloves or anything uh, it's just the t-shirt and you can swap out both Batman and um and travis uh to whatever you want which is really cool uh obviously there are a lot of t-shirts and you can actually access those t-shirts on our pc one thing i forgot to mention by the way is that travis is rocking a bitchin purple jacket now and for no classic red one in this game unfortunately but still it's it is definitely a cool redesign I, the purple does look good on him for sure Anyway, at the PC, uh, we can actually check out the ramen blog, which is sort of just a collectible screen showing you uh, where all of the uh, ramen stands are. Uh, and a little uh, trivia on uh, the specific types of ramen and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Ooh. If you love flavor text, you're going to love this game because this, uh... <laughs> this game has a lot of text. Uh, we'll, we'll get into it in just a little bit after we explore a little bit of our trailer. But, uh, yeah, this is, <laughs> as you can see, this is where, uh, this is where a lot of your t-shirts coming from. This is actually a collection of indie game t-shirts that, uh, Suda pretty much just went to every indie game he could think of, uh, and, uh, decided to say, do you want a t-shirt in this game? Because I'll put one in, and, uh, yeah, there's a lot of representation here. A lot of really good games. Hyperlight, which we've done on this channel, that's sick. Uh, we got Hollow Knight, it was absolutely phenomenal. Fury, which was uh, heavily inspired by No More Heroes and action games of its ilk. So that's just really cool that there's a Fury shirt in No More Heroes. And as far as the t-shirts Travis is going to wear, this might be the best one. It, it, this one's so cool looking. Anyway, um, yeah, lot, lots of good to choose from. Uh, shoot, I'm not sure where we go first. Uh... Well, mm, let's uh, let's try and uh, keep it thematic with the uh, levels we're going to. How about so? Uh, how about uh, the first uh, this next level? Oh, golf. 
<laughs> this is a physical shirt you can buy on Fangamer, by the way. Just letting you know. Um, you know, let's go with the Fury shirt. The Fury shirt's awesome, and also the next game we're going in involves a lot of murder. So we'll, we'll go. With, we'll go with Fury, and uh, just immediately buy the Hollow Knight shirt because God damn it, Hollow Knight's a good game. Play it today. Also on the Switch. Uh, anyway, uh, also uh, things that we can check out are faxes. <laughs> of course, Travis has a fax machine for some reason. And uh, the we're going to be getting faxes from uh, mainly two characters, one of which being K. Hmm. God bless America. Yeah, um, again, uh, this is going to be an interesting sort of LP because uh, in the trailer specifically, the, the, the areas aren't too heavy on, like, interesting things. And as far as the trailer is concerned, uh, we're in for a world of text, essentially. So it's going to be kind of interesting uh, how this is going to pan out. But again, it's No More Heroes, so we got to play it. Anyway, so uh, the archive, this is sick uh this is essentially a little uh magazine printouts you can zoom in twice wish i knew that damn it um <laughs> so these are little uh magazine printouts that will uh tell you about uh, the various games and the death drive console uh itself its extension unit is a pot <laughs> You'll be able to cook ramen while you play. Apparently there's a pot attached to the console. <laughs> awesome. God, it's ridiculous. I love it. Anyway. Uh, as far as uh, Electric Thunder Tiger, which is the game we just completed, uh, this is actually really cool because, as you can see uh, to the right, uh, right here, there are actually cheat codes. And, yes, these cheat codes are real. Um, if you input these cheat codes in the specific places of the map, you will actually get uh, things to appear. So we'll actually be taking advantage... Unfortunately, we couldn't read the archive before doing this level, uh, but we'll be taking advantage of this in all of the other games for sure. Expect the impossible again and again. But yeah, as far as... As far as flavor goes, the, this is some of the some of the best in the whole game. Reading these was an absolute joy. Um, obviously I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'll try and scan over it so y you can read it, but I'm not going to re <laughs> read out all the text in this game. Again, if I'm reading out all the text, we're gonna be here forever. There's a lot in this game. Anyway, uh, over here is the Death Drive Mark II. <laughs> cool that it lights up green. Um, at the bottom it'll say what's the highest difficulty you've actually completed it on, and at the top it'll say what's the rank you got on the boss fight. So we got an A rank, uh, probably just because we uh, we got hit a little bit too much. Honestly, getting an S rank on some of these bosses, I actually did get on the first try, so that's nice. Again, really, really sick remix of the No More Heroes theme. This game has a lot of No More Heroes theme remixes, which is cool. I feel like No More Heroes 2 didn't really, because No More Heroes 1 kind of like cornered the market on that. But uh, with this game, there's a lot of these uh, official theme remix which is cool anyway so uh here's where it gets really interesting because uh this uh going into the death drive and going in and killing folks is uh obviously your main gameplay but there is one other major side of the gameplay and that is travis strikes back the story of travis and his journey to collect the death balls because obviously we only have one death ball right now we're gonna need the others if we're gonna need to uh, be able to play these games so uh yeah this is uh this is pretty interesting let's begin yeah especially in, in nowadays you can't, you can't release anything without it getting leaked Hmm. 
Wait, what? Hey, hey, hey. No, please, delve into that. Aww. Uh, the plot thickens. <laughs> apparently i mean for travis this would have been 10 years ago so it is kind of strange that batman waited 10 years to exact revenge but i don't know yeah for sure Damn. What about the signed version? <laughs> oh, man. It's, it was that damn pot peripheral. That's the one thing that <laughs> made production way too much of a hassle. Really? Damn. Pretty weird legend to believe in, but oh well. It's so it's kinda it's kinda weird that So was Batman looking for the Death Drive Mark II? Or was he looking for Travis? Because he wants to bring his daughter back, but he also wanted to kill Travis. Did it Was it just a coincidence that Travis also happened to have a Death Drive Mark II? I don't know. Anyway, let the game begin. Oh boy, here we go. Get out your reading glasses. Welcome to Travis Strikes Back. A visual novel. <laughs> Yep, uh, there's a full-blown visual novel in this game uh, that uh, lengthwise is probably close to an hour long, maybe even a little more, and uh, which seems very random at first, but when you actually really think about it, uh, Suda has actually written several visual novels, uh, such as The Silver Case, uh, Flower, Sun, and Rain, and 25th Ward, which are all in a connected universe. You could argue a lot of Suda games are part of one Sudaverse, and this game, uh, this visual novel especially, uh, brings that into fruition, because this 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 novel is pretty nuts, uh, and uh, we're gonna, I, I was gonna say, unfortunately, we're gonna have to read it to uh, gain access to the Death Balls, but uh, again, it is very interesting. It's just, I was a little worried when I played this, because from, from a Let's Play perspective, a visual novel isn't the best, <laughs> the best for uh, for these kinds of videos, especially when I've already read it. It's it's not like a ooh a riveting visual novel I haven't read before. It's uh, I've already seen this. So anyway, without further ado, let's uh, let's get going. Again, get out your reading glasses and uh, buckle up. Or or you could skip it. That that is. Totally optional. There is quite a lot of humor and uh, and interesting interesting characters do pop up in this uh, in this thing though. This first uh, chapter is extremely long, by the way. This is the longest chapter that we're going to be reading, and then the others are all much shorter. Give it to me, doctor. <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> Am I the legend? No. But anyway, get ready to hear about me being a badass. Which isn't the same as being a legend. Bruno San Marino and Red Ribbon. Mm, yep, you got it. Oh. Where are the balls? Yep, getting right into it. <laughs> a lot of the characters in this... This is essentially a, a silver case game, this visual novel. You, you'll see. Where are the balls? Nightmare Burger. What a name. Jeez. Hmm. <laughs> that wouldn't wouldn't really fit the spell tiger, honestly. Meanwhile, at Nightmare Burger. Something tells me Suda has something against fast food joints, just based on this being called Nightmare Burger and what Bugstra was saying. Oh well. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Kickstarting my digestive system is uh, the less popular spin-off to the song Kickstart My Heart. <laughs> it really doesn't roll off the tongue very well. <laughs> Ooh, garlic slice burger. That does sound good. Mr. Sir Henry? <laughs> okay, no. It, it actually isn't. I remember when the first trailer came out, I was like, is that Henry with long hair? <laughs> but no, it's not. Okay. Again, this is a character straight out of the 25th Ward, which is the, the third Silver Case game, which, again, are... Uh, lengthy visual novels that you can actually... That were, I believe, Japan exclusive for a long time, but uh, they actually were localized recently in the past few years. Uh, and you can actually get them on Steam and PS4, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's if, if you're into that, uh, apparently it's it's more pseudo-writing, so it's very much, uh, very much, very weird. Very, very weird indeed. Yeah, the burger you were watering your mouth over. Huh. 
<laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> Say hello to Jean Chan. I guess I guess that's how Travis sees Jean. <laughs> that's like the cutest thing I've ever seen. God damn it. If that's what my talking cat says, then that's that. Yeah, Jean, Jean doesn't take shit from no one, d despite her cute demeanor. Nice. Okay. <laughs> uh, which one? I kind of climbed the ranks twice. <laughs> Believe it or not. I'm a regular Jack from Mad World. Mm hmm. Hand over the balls. That's my line. Fuckhead! <laughs> hey. <laughs> I love that it's not even in his head. It's, it's, Gene can just talk now. <laughs> Apparently this is a thing. <laughs> God, reading, reading lines like that just make me want to, I, I wish this was voiced. Again, this is a long novel, so having this actually be fully voice acted would be crazy expensive. <laughs> Calm the hell down, Travis. Calm the hell down. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> 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 
God, I love a violent genus. That was easy. <laughs> um. <laughs> Holy shit, Gene! For added effect, picture Gene's voice as just Morgana from Persona 5. Come on, Joker! Carve the bitch up! <laughs> Uh... Oh, that's a name I've heard before. Of course there is. We're in Twin Peaks, by the way. <laughs> oh, I, that was that was above the convenience store, not below. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Japanese people love Twin Peaks. Suda, Sweary, Ayanuma, all of them have mentioned Twin Peaks in interviews, saying like how big of an inspiration it is. So, I don't know. Oh, death ball acquired. There we go. Bitchin'. <laughs> okay. What the hell is going on? Gene's talking. Bishop's alive somehow. Real deal, son. <laughs> High concentration ox oxygenated water. Yikes. No wonder this thing was never released. Oh, really? Yes, please do. Buzariah Shivili Bishop. Younger brother of Georgie Bishop. <laughs> cool. The funny thing is, I'm pretty sure Bishop did already have, like, a full name in, uh, in, I don't know, I don't know in what context i don't know if it was in the game or not but i'm pretty sure this wasn't his original name so maybe suda forgot but i don't know i, I it might just be a right a retcon not that it really matters oh <laughs> deadpool we did this shit first hey uh, Oh yeah, no, it's go it's gone. It was rem it was completely obliterated in Nor Heroes One, and sub it was subsequently rebuilt and then obliterated again in Two. It they didn't even bother bringing it up a third time. Okay. Nice. Aww. <laughs> this music sounds like it'd be straight out of, like, Cave Story or something.
Sounds good, man. Hmm? And that's it for chapter one. Again, chapter one, don't worry, is by far the lengthiest of the chapters. So especially the next like two or three will uh, be significantly shorter. Unless you enjoy this. <laughs> if, do you enjoy looking at a visual novel? Uh, hey, VNs are great. Zero escape, dang and Roma, can't go wrong. I probably really should play. Uh, out of all the visual novels, I should play. You, you'd think I would play the pseudo ones, but I don't know. I there's so many games on my to do list, especially on Steam. Good luck ever finishing that backlog. Okay, back in our little uh, trailer park, uh, as of sorts, a little forest uh, getaway, and uh, yeah, none better to do than to uh, just head right to the death drive. Uh, actually, first let's check out the archive, because uh, just by acquiring the death bolt, we actually required the archive for the next one, which uh, just gives you a little, if you're alone, no one can hear you scream, featuring Benedict Cumberbatch as a real-life mass murderer. My god, that looks a lot like him. <laughs> very, very strange. Anyway, so uh, this is uh, this is where you can find, uh, obviously, the cheat codes that we can use. And one thing uh, that you can do is you can either... You can try and memorize it and just picture it in your head. Or you can take a screenshot. And then you can look at it at any time by just going to the home menu. Extremely convenient. So, uh, yeah. Let's just... Uh, did I pan over all of that again if, if i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like slowly pan the screen over all this if you want to read this i'm sure then you can pause pause the video and watch it because uh, it is very good flavor text I, I will give it that those archives are sick anyway back to the death drive for our second game life is destroy i'll be back <laughs> sure you will travis sure you will a man can dream. A man can dream. <laughs> 